Duquesne's former high school football field was on track for demolition after it was deemed unsafe. The district wanted to build a new one, but now there's a mix up that is delaying all of those plans. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso digging for answers tonight. So Jen, why did the demolition stop? Well, the bottom line, Megan, no demo permit was issued. I talked to the superintendent. She was caught off guard. She told me she said that the guy tearing this down was told by the city that, hey, we're going to take care of the permits, but apparently that didn't happen. I don't think any of this was done properly. None of us were made aware that they were coming. It's just one day he showed up and they just started ripping things down. Piles of debris and steel here at the former Duquesne High School football stadium, which is being demolished. But everything stopped this week after this stop work order went up for failure to get a demo permit. This resident who didn't want to be identified has concerns. We're concerned about the asbestos possibly and the lead based paint and for the next two years, we're going to be looking at rubble. Duquesne Superintendent Sue Mariani says it hasn't had Whippeal or PIAA athletics played here since 2012. She says they started fundraising to build a new stadium complex after an engineer deemed it unsafe. She says in June, Reynolds Brothers volunteered to tear the old stadium down for free, contacted the city. Whoever they talked to indicated that the school district didn't have money for permits and said to go ahead and start the demolition. Then the employee left, she says, without finishing the paperwork. In a statement, the superintendent said, quote, after investigating, there was a miscommunication between Reynolds Brothers, Inc. and the city of Duquesne regarding the permit for demolition. The Duquesne City School District recruited Reynolds Brothers, who is completing the demolition pro bono, including the asbestos removal of which a permit is on file. The company stopped demolition due to a scheduled vacation and will finish the cleanup of remaining debris upon their return. The required permits have been filed and will be ready for the cleanup to continue upon Reynolds' return. Duquesne's mayor says it was a mix-up on paperwork, and that is being taken care of. Megan, no word on when the demolition will start up again. I asked the superintendent, how much will a new football stadium cost? It is a whopping $12 million. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.